What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today, patch 1.16, known as the San Andreas Flight School Update, which I'm just going to call the Flight School Update from now on, was released and there is a lot of new info to cover. I'm going to be going in-depth and creating videos on some of the specific major things in this update and showing you everything this update has to offer, but before I do that, I thought I would give you a good rundown on the update and just show you a quick but thorough overview. Before we get right into it, I'm hosting a giveaway for a GTA $8 million Megalodon Shark Cash card on Twitter and Instagram, so if you're interested, be sure to check out how to enter in the description below. With the flight school update, in terms of aerial vehicles, there are two new planes and one new helicopter which you can purchase in GTA Online through Elite S Travel or even try for free in GTA 5 Story Mode. These vehicles are the Western Basra, which costs $1.15 million to purchase. It's a quick, agile, and very mobile jet but has no weaponry. There is the Miljet costing $1.7 million. It's the most expensive thing you can purchase in this update. It's a quick jet that's sized between the Luxor and Titan. The biggest feature this new jet brings is that it can hold up to 16 players an entire GTA Online lobby, which is pretty awesome. Finally, we have the Swift helicopter available in two versions, the $1.5 million version called the Swift Classic that's a plain black version of the helicopter and the $1.6 million version called the Flying Bravo which features a different paint job and decals. There does not seem to be any performance difference, the model you choose really should depend on what you think looks better. This helicopter also has the unique feature to lower and raise the wheels by clicking the left stick in which unfortunately didn't work for me but it has worked for others. There was also a new vehicle added called the Cockwet Classic. This is a vehicle in the Sports Classic category that can be purchased as a convertible, referred to as topless for $695,000, or with a top on it for a bit cheaper at $665,000. These can be purchased at legendarymotorsport.net in-game, and it's a quick and nimble car that offers a decent amount of customization, overall a great addition to the Sports Classic category. Next up, which probably most of you will refer to as the core of the update, is the San Andreas Flight School, which features 10 new solo missions to test your skills. This feature can be accessed at the San Andreas airport that you can see on your radar. These missions range widely from easy to hard and I will have a guide on how to complete them all on gold uploaded very soon so be sure to check it out if you're having some trouble. This is also a great way to earn and it really depends on what medals you get, anywhere from $150,000 to $250,000 from completing it the first time. In terms of clothing, there isn't too much new options, but pretty unique ones. You can buy the flight suit by going to the front desk of any clothes store and it costs $50,000 to purchase. You can remove the helmet portion and swap it with different masks, glasses, and more while keeping the bottom portion of the outfit intact. Additionally, you can purchase a flight hat from any clothing store, which looks pretty cool. Finally, if you complete the flight school, no matter what medals you get, you will receive an Elitist Travel t-shirt that is unlocked and you can purchase it under the Special T-shirts category at any store. Onto parachutes, there has been a lot of new parachute colors and themes added, which you could choose in addition to the brand new country branded parachute bags, which are available at Ammunition. There are a decent amount of countries here. I assume the most popular ones that play GTA 5, and I definitely hope that your country is here. For those curious, there has not been any new haircuts or tattoos added in this update. While on the topic of parachutes, a big feature added into GTA 5 through this update is the introduction of reserve parachutes that allow you to pull the parachute again while in the air. You must purchase the reserve parachute to try this out, and if you do use it, you will have to purchase it again or else you'll just have a normal parachute when getting into a helicopter or plane. An easy way to test this new feature out after you purchase the reserve parachute is to jump out of a helicopter, use your parachute, and then hit Y on Xbox 360 or Triangle on PS3 and you'll notice that you can use your parachute again. A pretty neat feature and I'm sure we'll see a lot of unique uses for it soon. A quick tip for you is that if you want to check if if you have a reserve parachute, you could hold L1 or LB and it'll pop up and if you look at your parachute in the bottom right corner, you'll see either it has no number on it or 2 and that 2 means that you have a reserve parachute. In addition to that, there has also been new races, captures, parachute jumps, and more added, as well as three all-new versus mission modes. As read from the Rockstar Newswire, there is Acquire Targets, which is a kill the carrier style mode where opponents fight in the laser jets to control one flag, maintain control for as long as you can to rack up points. There's G rating, compete against other cadets as you fly to pick up 15 flags in both weapons, hot, and cold environments. And finally, there's Air Force Zero, where the defending team must protect an aircraft against an attacking team as it flies to the safe LZ. This update also changed the payout of most missions and fixed a lot of bugs. From the Rockstar Newswire, they said, most notably, all contact missions, GTA money, and RP awards have been rebalanced so that more difficult missions will earn you greater rewards. GTA money payouts on replays are no longer reduced, and all rewards are now time scaled. This is quite the interesting update and probably removes Rooftop Rumble as the number one way to make money. When the fastest way to make money is discovered, I will be sure to post it as soon as possible. Finally, Rockstar announced that this upcoming weekend would be an event weekend. Usually, they have a playlist out that gives extra money and an RP, so definitely be sure to check that out, and I'll be sure to update you when more information is available. 
so guys that's basically all the information you need to know about the update i will be making another video about some of the sort of secret patches that they made secret updates that weren't in the rockstar newswire as well as some in-depth videos on the new vehicles and some of the new features as well just in-depth videos on everything so definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check back very soon i'm going to try to upload about every hour so an hour after this video is uploaded be sure to expect another video i'm quite enjoying this update i think it's pretty awesome and i think the pilot school is a lot of fun the new plane helicopter jet and vehicle are pretty awesome but what i want to know is what do you think of this update and which part of this update is your favorite so be sure to leave a comment below i want to quickly thank you guys for all the support i hope you did enjoy this overview it went pretty in depth so if you didn't know anything about it or you want to see some gameplay hopefully this video helped you out and if you haven't already like i mentioned earlier be sure you enter that gta 8 million dollar megalodon shark cash card giveaway and to enter that just simply check out the description of this video and we'll give you a detailed walkthrough on how to enter thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and peace out